Happy Evolution Sunday. What's going on, everybody? How are you? We are about two minutes away from showtime here. I'm up here just in time. I had to fucking work today. But yeah, they did do a kickoff show. They didn't have any um, any matches. It was just a panel, and then they did this, like, red carpet shit. I don't know. Um, I found it amusing. The best part of it was our truth hanging out with Carmela's mom. I think that was his date, uh, which was pretty cool to see. Aside from that, nothing even happened on the kickoff. I love Beth Phoenix's Bull Nakano shirt. I did not see that till just now. That's awesome. I want one. Uh, we're getting a whole sappy ass video package. They're laying it on so thick with this shit, but whatever. You know, one thing I will say, I've seen a lot of comments, especially lately, there's just been like assholes all over the place all week long, but the people that are like annoyed with the concept of the show, you know, because they're like, well, the only reason they're doing it is because of Saudi Arabia. But I'm like, okay, fine, fair enough, but let's say they weren't doing this and they were just going to Saudi Arabia. Do you know what everybody would be saying, including myself? You know, like, man, WWE, if you're going to go over to Saudi Arabia and not bring women with you, at least give them something in return. You know, and here they're doing it, and we're still not happy with it. So I don't know why this show is insisting on being as controversial as it is. I think if a lot of people are, like, not watching the show, I'm like, great, don't watch it. You know, why you have to run around social media and tell everybody you're not watching it is beyond me. Seems like an incredible waste of time. Oh, hey, Lillian, I didn't even know you were doing this. Good to see you, girl. I mean, I know Nikki and Ronda are main eventing, but I'm usually not one of those fucking annoying fans. Like, hey, this person should main event or whatever, you know, but I really feel that Charlotte and Becky have earned it more than Nikki and Ronda, you know what I mean? Ronda's the draw. Ronda's the, your money girl. But as far as the gals that, like, put their time in and can actually fucking work, you know, Becky and Charlotte, to me, in my mind, that's the main event, you know? That's going to be one of the best matches on the show. Yeah, excuse me while I just stare at Trish and Lita for a minute. The hell is Mickey wearing? I can't tell if this is like their normal outfit or if they're dressing for Halloween. Uh, Sophia, nobody's wrestling yet. They're doing entrances, but we're getting the uh, the tag, the Trish and Lita tag first. Alexa Bliss has been checked out, and Alicia Fox has been checked in. Well, let's start off this pay-per-view with the most predictable fucking match in the history of business. So they're going with the low lights, so they're going to keep the building dark, probably because it's not even anywhere near a sellout. Yeah, Mike, we were just talking about the darkened crowd. I don't know, I think it's just the vibe. I don't, I don't really have a problem with the darkened crowd. I don't think this is it. Ooh, that was a good kick. I don't think this is anywhere near a sellout, but I think they were going to darken the arena regardless. This is just the atmosphere they wanted. And I don't mind it. It's it's old school. I like it. All the matches I saw as a kid growing up, that's, that's the way the arena looked. Plus, we always, you know, one of the biggest complaints we have these days about WWE especially is that all the shows look the same. So it's nice to do something different. Trish with a top rope, her and Karana. She's not going to pin her, is she? No, she's not. I mean, this match has been pretty good. I was a little concerned with Trish and Lita, just rustiness, but so far, a few complaints. Fans are into it. They're definitely not bored. Lita's selling her little cute butt off. Another thing I mentioned, too, another reason why I just feel, and I'm not guaranteeing anything because anything can fucking happen, but I feel relatively confident that WWE is not going to put the belt on Nikki Bella tonight. And one of the many reasons why I think that is that WWE's, like, fucking in turmoil right now. There's so much shit going on. You know, they got injured wrestlers left and right. They're fumbling and stumbling around all over themselves, tripping over themselves. You know, having to rework and configure pay-per-view cards and John Cena's not going to Saudi Arabia and Roman Reigns now has leukemia and they got a ton of, you know, pushback and they've got a getting a ton of flack from the audience and from the media from going to saw for going to Saudi Arabia. Nobody's nobody's happy with this evolution pay-per-view. Everybody thinks it's a joke and lazily booked. So shit is just bad right now. WWE is getting it from all angles from the fans. So I think the last thing in the world WWE needs to do tonight is put the fucking title on Nikki Bella and have her end Ronda Rousey's unde you know undefeated streak you know since she's been in the company. I think it would be. I'm like, are you intentionally trying to get the fans to set fucking Titan Towers on fire? Like, goddamn. So I think as angry as the fans all seem to be right now, what's what's the word the internet loves? Butt hurt. That's what they all are. They're butt hurt. Every damn one of them. 
I think the last thing you want to do is make their butts even more hurt here. So just give a shit that doesn't make us puke. On paper, the show was underwhelming looking, but it might turn out to be a good show. What if it is? This match, how, how long have we been going here? This match has been going pretty good distance, too. That was way too assisted. Oh, it's always nice to see the good old Stratisfaction, but that did not... And that two count didn't look good either. That was bad. That was bad. I think Alicia was way too late on that save. Oh god, Lita, be careful. Here comes the moonsault we talked about. Don't hurt yourself. Oh, that was much better. Much better. Alright, this match is about to be over. Alright, I'm one for one in predictions. It was a decent opener. I have no complaints about it. Could have been worse. Bree, your, your promo just gave me a concussion. I think the way you get the most value out of your WrestleMania Rousey match is to have her be champion until she gets there. What's next? Next match. Oh, Battle Royal. All right. Yeah, I can't wait to see. I'm, if you guys are seeing a Lunder, I haven't seen her yet, so I'm curious to see what she's going to look like. And is she going to wear, like, her Al old Alunder blaze, like that white thing she wore? I'm glad they're giving the I Iconics a little promo. Oh, see you later. You got a promo, but no ring time. Naya just has Alunder up in the air. Alunder's like, I'm about to get eliminated by somebody who I don't know, whose name I don't know. What is she trying to do to Tamina? It's like Hornswoggle versus Diesel. Oh, Ma Lonnie, you missed your spot. You tried to do this earlier. Just a good old-fashioned scoop slam. You don't even see those anymore. See you later, Mandy. I forgot Michelle McCool's in there. She better not fucking win. Look at Naya and fucking Ivory just selling their asses off on the mat. Oh, ooh, Jesus. Dana. Uh, somebody kind of mentioned a, a similar thing, JJ Leg. But how funny would that be? If Ellsworth went one-on-one -on -one with Santino in the middle of this pay-per-view in, like, a pillow fight. Like, wouldn't that be great? Like, it would show that WWE has a sense of humor. Because sometimes it seems like they don't. And I just think that would be fucking hilarious. All right, so we got... I don't know how many we got. About seven or eight girls left in here. Tamina, Naomi, Asuka, Naya. Michelle McCool, I think. Or no, Michelle's out. We got Ivory, we got Ember, and we got somebody else in the corner, Carmella. And there goes Naomi. The crowd isn't like that tonight. They seem to have a different type of vibe to them. I mean, even they're even tolerating some of these botches. Like, they're grumbling a little bit, but then they get over it and they're back to cheering. So they don't seem to be hell-bent on sabotaging the pay-per-view. They seem legitimately into it so far, at least on my end. Well, we got we got Asuka versus a bunch of Raw girls in there. There we go. This this should be our last two right here. Oh, man, it's probably not going to be our last two since they're doing it right here. If Asuka is going to get eliminated, Ember should do it. And she's gone. Yes. I still think they should have done a Raw and SmackDown as the final two, you know? But whatevs. Is she going to Earl Hebner him? Yep. Oh, she did. Oh, man. Tamina caught it in the face. Oh, I'm pretty sure I, ca I saw Tamina just ate a knee right in the mush. Ooh, jeez, good bump. Oh, there goes Ember. Is that it? That's it. All right, Nia Jax, she was on the list. Look at a Rock's mom up in here. I didn't know she was there. It's like they called the Rock and be like, hey, you want to come to Evolution? He's like, how about I send you my mom? Oh, don't. Are we, do we have to have a crying promo? It was a good tournament this year, though. I saw a lot of the matches this time around. That heartbreaking shit with Tegan Knox. I'm still not over my grief from that. I think you got to go Storm here, though. I mean, with all the credentials that Io Shirai always or already has, can you make that that annoying smart argument of who needs it more? Because if it's who needs it more, you might want to go Storm on this. Io Shirai is going to be just fine, you know. 
win, lose, or draw here. And Tony Storm probably will be too. But I think it might make for the better story for Tony. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mentioned in my predictions video, and I preface this by saying, let me just say there'd be absolutely nothing wrong with this if this happened, but do you think WWE would go with two Japanese wrestlers back-to-back -back as winners in the Mae Young Classic? Tony, as Gorilla Monsoon would say, don't ask anybody, just do it. I hate it when they look around at the crowd like, should I? Should I climb to the rope? Yes, climb to the fucking rope. Oh, man. Shirai just hard back bump off that drop kick. You know, back in the day when WWE was into that Divas division, that's all they did. They just, I mean, remember the Divas search? All that was was, let's find models, you know, that are in uh, bikini contests and maybe fitness models that have a little uh, experience training and being in the gym. Maybe we can work with that. You know, that, that was basically their... Um, they, they weren't out looking for people that wanted to become pref professional wrestlers. They were going out there looking for people that they thought they could turn into professional wrestlers. And that was a big mistake. You know, now you see now all these women now, like Tony Storm, they all had like a desire and a passion to become this. They weren't just some, oh, WWE's got a casting call. Let's go fucking try out. Jesus, those headbutts. But now it's like these girls are getting into the business because they want to wrestle. About time, you know. So yeah, and when you have that, then when WWE starts getting people that have talent in the ring instead of just looking at looks and looks alone, that's when you're going to find a diverse type of roster, which WWE has now. If I was a wrestler, what would my character be? I'd be a combination of Duke the Dumpster Drossy and Val Venus. I'd be a garbage man stripper. I would wear the, the big pants with the suspenders like the garbage men wear, but no shirt. I'd probably look a little bit like C.N. Almas. Probably wear a similar hat. Definitely going to go with a bow tie. She's up. Oh, good. Knees up on that moonsault. That looked great. She's got a kick out of this. She's not. I thought that would go a little longer. All right. Congrats, Tony Storm. That was a short match. How long did that go? Eight minutes? Great match, but kind of wish it went another three, four minutes. Would have been good. I mean, I like it for them in the sense that, you know, as a fan, you can smugly shit on the show if you want. But think of it from Tony Storm's perspective. She worked for years to get an opportunity, and here she is winning this big tournament. It's a good moment for her. I know, it's bullshit. The men should get flowers. Ray Rougeau, fucking badass. I guarantee you, Ray Rougeau could beat up half the current WWE roster. Especially guys like Ziggler and shit. Oh my god. Ray would whoop his ass. Ray Rougeau is not the Mountie's brother. The Mountie is Ray Rougeau's brother. James. There are so many colors going on. So that means all uh, faces have won. So come on, Riot Squad. You got this. We need a heel. We need a heel. <laughs> That <laughs> looked like shit. God. Hasn't been the cleanest of pay-per-views, I will say that. Sasha's awful and her fangirls defend her. Here's the thing, man. This is the problem with everybody. There's people that I don't like, too. But the last thing in the world that I care about is if somebody else does like them. You know what I mean? Like, why do you even give a shit? If you don't like Sasha, fine. Why do you care that she has fans? I got that all week long on Twitter. Be some random tweet. Somebody last night I tweeted about. Oh, we did get the baby faces winning. I tweeted about Ember and Asuka, and then somebody's like, "I'm not even watching this pay per view." And I'm like, "That had nothing to do with what the tweet was even about." I didn't ask if you're watching it. I don't care if you're watching it. What does that have to do with it? You know, I was legitimately curious what the fans think of this particular situation, and you decided to say, "I'm not watching it. So it's stupid." I'm like, okay, okay. Thanks for telling me. Like, I don't know what the point of telling me is, man. I'm a little nervous about the level of amount of baby faces winning tonight. What do we got next? NXT title? Probably. I feel good about Baszler winning. Maybe if you get Baszler and Becky retaining, Ronda can destroy Nikki in the main event. I, I like that. That was super subtle. During that Irish whip into the corner, Baszler had 
was throwing Kyrie or by her uh, arm, and she sold it. She grimaced. She's like, ah, you know, when she grabbed her arm. It's the little things that you appreciate when you notice in a young talent. What is Kyrie doing up there? I'm nervous. Jesus Christ, that was good. That was perfectly executed by Kyrie. It was perfectly taken by Baszler. Looks like nobody killed themselves doing it. That was Brie Bella should be in a fucking coma. Oh, don't do a DQ. Come on. Keep these girls out of here. So there's no DQ for this interference. Oh, there. That's it. That's the end. All right. So the girls on the outside played a role. Baszler, she, Kyrie ain't getting out of this. And now she's sleeping. Good. I kind of wanted Baszler to win. You're not going to get out of this. That's it. All right. New champ. Hey, I predicted that one right. Good. You, you're my uh, history buffs here in the chat. Has the last man standing match ever ended in the ring? Isn't it always like at the announce table or some shit? You know what I mean? I knew that table wasn't going to break. I'm like, they're way too close. And Becky's like, let me jump back up on here. Here's another thing we haven't seen yet. We haven't seen any fucking color on, like, a blade job in women's wrestling, have we? We've seen some accidental blood, but I don't want to see, like, I want to see a crimson mask. Well, they're doing a lot. This match has been good. They both look pretty fucking beat up. God. Both Becky and Charlotte are selling this as if they'll never be the same again after this match, which is good. She took the belt and is leaving. Becky's like, see ya. I'm going to Arby's. Fucking beef and cheddar, baby. There we go. I'm about to say, this thing's got to go out into the crowd. If I was a fan, I'd grab that belt. It's just a fucking chop part. Look at that dude. Do you see the guy just casually chilling? He's the MVP of this whole fucking show. Those girls are two feet away from him. He's sitting there like this. That guy's my... Vince is probably losing his mind. Who's that guy? Get him the fuck out of there. Oh, that was hilarious. She's going to bear... Oh, yeah. You can't get out of two computer chairs? Yeah, that's going to be... Yeah, Charlotte will never get out of that. Oh, let's put a third one on there. Yeah, that's going to help. Do you have a dump truck you could back over her? Like, that might help, but... A table. Half the table. And she looks pissed. You know what that reminded me of? That was a great visual. Even though there was no blood, it reminded me of when Vince lifted his head above the apron at WrestleMania 19. Charlotte kind of had the camera kind of panned in on her, just staring a hole through Becky. That's theater. That's good. That's good camera work. Ah, Jesus Christ. If, if only there was one more chair, right? It felt like one more chair would have done it, right? Is Charlotte going to do the big glorious moonsault off the table or off the top rope? through the table she either hits it and wins or Becky moves and Charlotte misses and loses this is the finish this is it guys let's watch it together I'm gonna get off the chat so y'all don't spoil what happens here oh no she's gonna power bomb her that's gotta be it is Becky gonna not only beat her but beat her legit she's done wow Becky wins. I mean, of all the gimmick matches that WWE's tried to do, Last Man Standing, Falls Count Anywhere, Money in the Bank, Hell in the Cell, all that shit. This, I think, has been my favorite one. Yeah, that was good stuff, man. I'm glad. Hey, that's what I was hoping for. Hoping for a good match. I think we got it. You know, toast one to Becky. Good for you. We all should. That was a great match. Both those ladies fucking worked their asses off. Yeah, the only way Ronda drops the belt here is, is by some crazy shenanigans. I'm talking Nikki, Brie, Stephanie, Natalia, Brock Lesnar, Abdullah the Butcher. Everybody's got to come out here. AJ Lee interference, although it'd be great and shocking and fun, would make no sense. What kind of flag has she got? Bella what? Bella Lucian? Bella Lucian. You two look like idiots. Oh, Brie Bella with a puppy. See, that's the thing. 
That's fine. So Ronda Rousey has to fight both Bellas. Who gives a fuck? She's still going to win. If I was Ronda, I'd roll out of the ring, attack Brie, break her arm so she can't do shit for the rest of the match, and then go in there and finish off Nikki. This is way too much offense for me, <laughs> but whatever. The more offense Nikki has, I think the less likely it is that she's going to win. Come on, Rousey. Will you fucking kill her, please? Jesus Christ. Ronda hasn't done a move yet, just brawling. Well, she's a fighter, so... You kind of got to dance with what you brung you. Ronda didn't get her position by uh, working like Eddie Guerrero. Oh, that was good. Ronda, man, she can sell. A Nikki Bella victory here would be a foolish fucking thing to do. There's just no way. I don't see it happening. Referee, you're going to like, don't ring the bell. This is dangerous, Ronda. She's got both of them up in the air. Oh, that was terrible looking. But a uh, pretty good feat of strength. I don't know if I could lift both of them girls up. Maybe I could, but I'd be wobbly-legged as fuck, that's for sure. Dude, there's just no way. Ronda looks more beat up than Nikki. She got scrapes on her fucking face. What? Alabama slam from Nikki to Ronda out of nowhere? You don't see many Alabama slams out of nowhere. That's kind of a tough move to do quickly. Oh, she hit her finish? There's no way. Give me a break. Was Nikki about to say Brie mode? she forget her own fucking name? Oh, God. I don't even want to know what's... Right into the armbar. Is this going to be the finish? Well, this is the finish, unless Brie runs in. There's no way she's getting to a rope. She's tapping out right now. Tap. See ya. Pfft. You're done. You know, like... Here, I'm going to say something I'm not allowed to say. Is there a human being in this world that would even dare give Nikki Bella a little bit of credit for hanging in there and working with somebody clearly miles ahead of her in athletic ability and potential and like kind of holding her own to where she worked the match and didn't look like a fucking mess out there like that was like Nikki's not like I said a million times Nikki's not Eddie Guerrero but that match went a lot longer than I thought Nikki to be able to like hang that long to where you got people on Twitter saying hey this is a pretty good match takes two people to have a match not one you know I didn't like... The only thing that made me nervous is Nikki's leaving. It's like, it's not over. It's not over. I'm like, oh, fuck. That means we're going to have to see it again. And now with Survivor Series down the road, I don't know if it's like a Nikki... Team Nikki, Team Ronda thing. Oh, they're going to give us a video package too? We got Trish and Lita right there with Ronda. She's the centerpiece. That girl, she's going into Mania as champion, y'all. I'm going to put up a Twitter poll right now. Simple. Grade Evolution. All right, so let's give it an A, a B, a C, or a D. And I'm not adding the option didn't watch because that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking for a grade of evolution. So if you're going to grade evolution, the only way you can grade evolution is if you watched it. So you should have no reason to even tell me you didn't watch it because that's not one of the options. Wrong match main evented, yes and no, Mike. I, uh, I said the same thing in my predictions that I felt that Charlotte and Becky, based on their work, they are in that spot. But Ronda is your draw, and plus you wanted the pay-per-view to end with that. I mean, clearly with what they did in the aisle there, they did. Um, they wanted a babyface to win so you can have the big celebratory, happy ending, big picture, and the whole deal. Becky technically being a heel, you can't really achieve that the same way. So I think that all, all of that played into to the decision. Um, but based on just straight up who deserves it more. Oh, Charlotte and Becky by a mile. But a lot of times it doesn't really matter who deserves it more. It matters um, what's best for TV. And oh, there's Becky and Charlotte toasting the, uh, or Becky and uh, Rhonda toasting the titles. That I liked. So I guess you could have done the Becky thing, but WWE is really trying to make Rhonda their, their cornerstone. 
Hell, I mean, the, the, at what point are we going to get the fans starting to have sympathy for Charlotte? That might actually happen. Two months ago, she was Charlotte Reigns. Now, all of a sudden, it looks like her spot is being handed to somebody else.